All right, hello and welcome to another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. We are here today with a game away at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium against Spurs. I just want to say something quickly. Um, before I start, if it lags at any point, basically, um, the weather is horrible outside. Um, and if it lags, it's probably due to the weather. Just to make that clear. I apologise. I don't know what I can do to fix that. I can't really fix the weather kind of thing, you know, so... It's just how it goes. We'll switch Greenwood back in. I'll show you what happened in our last game in a second. I'm still a little bit mad about it. Whatever happens, happens, so I guess. And unfortunately, it did happen. Uh, Dembele. Sit back on the bench. Alright, so I can make way for Martensen. I want Carbonero on the bench as well, but I can't. Realistically, Teal Mons is probably going to get more tired than you, the wingers, so. We're going to try and go back out of here with a good attitude and a good. Wait, how long does more pace than Greenwood? Fair enough. 99 sprint speed, 97 acceleration. Anyway, but no. We're going to go back into this with a good outlook on what we're going to achieve now. We've got the Fortin goal for the next six weeks, which might slow down our, you know, goal difference in the fact that we're we'll probably going to get more sco uh, scored against us. But uh, I'll show you the email for that quickly as well, actually. A player injured just after the transfer window closed. It was Gianluigi Donnarumma suffering a torn hamstring injury. And he'll be out for about six weeks. So we've got till about mid-October. And then we'll get him back. If you didn't see the last game, though, we suffered our first defeat in this season of the Premier League. It, wasn't, it shouldn't have been a defeat at all. And if you've watched the episode, you know. And if you haven't watched the episode, then... You can go back and watch it. It was just yesterday. You can find out why I was so annoyed with it. But we lost 1-0 to Stoke at the Valley Parade. But luckily for us, Spurs also lost their game 1-0 to Manchester United, which means got now no teams winning all of their first four games. It's not like a real life where Liverpool win so many games in a row. This is what it's looking like right now. So we've got Liverpool at the top of 10 points. Uh, Chelsea second in 10 points as well. Spurs on 9, us on 9, City on 9, United on 9. And uh, I'm gonna, I can let you read it down the rest quickly. And in the relegation zone early on in this season, Crystal Palace haven't won a single game. I haven't got a single point yet. Burnley and Fulham join them down there. Stoke were down there until they beat us. Um, honestly, we should have won that, but we just couldn't find back a net, and they could, and that's just really how it is. I don't know what else to tell you other than that. So before we go into the Spurs game, we'll look at the views. You can see here, late drama from Verlinden steals Stoke City win. Verlinden snatched a win against Bradford after his dramatic late goal put Stoke City 1-0 up. A Still don't know how that's happened. But anyway, we've got Premier League Player of the Month shortlist. We've got three from Manchester City and one from Spurs, but none from Bradford, which is quite interesting. We've got Bernardo Silva from Manchester City, Diallo from Manchester City, Leroy Sane from Manchester City, and of course, Harry Kane from Spurs. And as you can see, it looks like um, Bernardo Silva has won the Player of the Month award, even though we beat Man City. Um, they've won every other game they've had, so it makes sense for that. But uh, anyway, we kick off the Europa League against... Ajax. I don't think it is actually against Ajax. I think it's against Molda first, but I mean, it's fine. We'll uh, get to that when we get to that, but there's one other thing I want to read. This one. So what countries are wanting to go for us now? Bolivia, Peru, Sweden, Cameroon, and Cote d'Ivoire. Honestly, I wouldn't mind going to Sweden. Get some of my youth players in there as well as some other players. Possibly Zlatan Ibrahimovic's regen would play for Sweden as well. Um, might be an interesting one. If you actually come in with an offer, they haven't come in with an offer. And if they have, then I've rejected it in the past. But I've had quite a few international management offers and I'm doing this now. I'm on my seventh season of career mode. So you can't expect me to remember everything, can you, really, realistically? Other games on tap today there are Burnley versus Arsenal, Chelsea versus Aston Villa, Everton versus Bournemouth. Manchester City versus Southampton and Stoke City versus Leicester. And so far, I haven't actually heard a lot from Southampton, who finished top four. I think they finished third last season. Um, I'll have to take a look at them after this game, see where they are starting out this season. But I'm not going to go back out of this now because it took ages to load back in. What we are going to do, though, is announce the squad that we're using today. We've got Lafon in goal, Hakimi and Wambasaka as the fullbacks, Militao and Upamecano as the centre backs, Yuri Tielemons as a centre defensive mid, Vinicius left mid, Sancho right mid, Havertz centre attacking mid. And then Haaland and Greenwood up front. And let's try and mentally reset and reset in our actual game as well. So we don't lose another one. We don't lose ground too early. Because if we lose ground, we've known it in the past. We can't make it up. 
That's um, a lesson from last season, really. We did so well. We went on a win streak at the end of last season. And we still couldn't make up a difference. We were, I think it was six points or five points or something off uh, top four. It was just ridiculous trying to make up a difference. Anyway, we'll go into this game with our heads held high. Hopefully with as minimal lag as possible. Can't promise anything though because of the weather. But we are going to try and get a win against Spurs. They're also one of the top teams that have proved so far this season anyway. The top goal scorers in the Premier League, Tottenham Hotspur. We are not far behind them. Only one goal behind them. But what also means we're behind them in the table as well. On goal difference. Because they've conceded two and we've also conceded two. So this could be interesting. We beat these guys last season. In the second game of the season. I don't think we beat them in the first one against them. I think we won 3-0 in the second game in the Premier League last season. So hopefully we can get some sort of result like that. I'm hoping we can get a win here at Spurs so there's no issue. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Pacheco stands between the posts. Checo, Gilbert, Romagnoli, Longley, Gaia, Zobnin, Casemiro. They made a couple of signings to be fair. The Soler, all more dense. And Harry Kane, yeah. We've got quite a few good signings there. Longley at the back. Solid defender. Even though he's 39 in his career mode. I don't think he's, like, his overall has gone down that much yet. And Zobnin, I think he's pretty young. And he did, I think he cost a lot. I think I've read his transfer out. I was reading out a deadline day deals. Or all the deals, I should say, on deadline day. We're just going to try and go for it this time. We went for it last time, but we just couldn't find our way past the Stoke City goalkeeper. Hopefully we can get past Pacheco, but that, even that was a task last time we played Spurs. We've done it three times, but it took a while. Anyway, Buffon's going to have to start. I think we just started him in the Peterborough game as well. So he's getting quite a bit of action, and he will get quite a bit of action now until mid-October, like I said. For Coventry though, I'll give Henderson a little run out. It'll probably be his only run out of the season, so might as well give him something. Yeah, this could be incredibly laggy. The quality might go to absolute dog, and I apologise for that. Sanchez outstrength the man there, and it doesn't matter because the referee's for some reason giving it as a foul. I I would say I was going to say I should have done this earlier, but the weather's been bad all day to be honest. It's not been great. It's been mainly windy today but it's been raining for quite a while now as well. Haaland they bring it away with Greenwood. Oh he's Press probably joking me. He's ready there. Oh no. Havertz is too far back from attacking the fielder in my opinion but oh bugger. If I close this down I don't know what he's doing here. Oh. Alright. Not a bad pass idea anyway. Bro. Five minutes of having Buffon in net. Where were my... This guy's in the camera. Where were my centre-backs? I know I dragged one out. But why was the other one out there as well? I dragged Militao out. I'm aware of that. But like, why was Zuka Meccano also out? <laughs> Bro, and he's got an open goal to finish. Into. We can't. We can't fuck this up. We need to win the Premier League. Or at least get top four, honestly. I don't want to like... Butcher this. Pedence get his second goal. Underway again. Fucking and hell. Alright, we go again. Advantage. Not the star, obviously, we wanted to hear at the top of Spurs. Spurs try to use space to I don't have to play this game. I actually, not, I'm not sure if I want to play it today. Might have a well, day, day off, you know. Yuri. Yeah, I don't really want to play this game. I really don't want to play it. Oh, it like, it's going more the wrong way than against Stoke. Why on earth do I want to fucking play that to my centre back there? Grant Lafont's got a good save from Harry Kane's shot there. That could have been 2 0. And we might have been going back to the old Bradford there. And firing it into the area. Greenwood. I'm concentrating, I'm fully concentrating. Oh, uh, it's saved. Vinicius keeps it in. And I do pass it off, but it's tackled before it actually registers. 
Could have been 1-0. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, Akiri's now way out of position. wan I don't think I've seen the first 11 minutes we've played. Militao intercepts and Havertz can get away. Vinicius. Sancho. Greenwood. Oh, I was hoping Howland would make a bit of a different run there, but... Alright. McCann, please win the header, thank you. Yuri. On Havertz. Bro, I'm... I'm trying to turn back with the player and it doesn't register it until like three minutes later. By which time I've already been tackled. Space here, in an ball. Oh, bro. And I knew it wasn't good with my player. What is Militao doing there? Why is it falling the fucking part? Good save. I thought I could get a block of wan or not wan Hakimi, sorry, my bad. Everton go 1 0 up against. Oh, it's 1 all, sorry, I should say, between Everton and Bournemouth now. Everton were 1 0 up. What the fuck is going on? I was doing so well. I was storming the first few Premier League games. And we lost to Stoke when we shouldn't have. And we're not playing our game like I want us to. Has it turned off my custom tactics or something? I feel like it's turned off my He's custom tactics. Well, it has come to nothing. Defense. He's going to beat Vinicius there. Yep. And scope for the cross. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Great tackle, I'm not sure that was. I want to say Militao, but I'm not sure. I'm just glad it got put in. Vinicius. This might have potential. Can we get past Gilbert here? Or Gilbert, I should say. We can. Off to Haaland. The idea was good. It's a goal for Southampton. 24 minutes played. 1 1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. The execution was not on point there, and it got tackled off us, so I can't really execute something that's been tackled off me, can I? It looks like it's going to be Kai Havertz on the corner, which is interesting. Can he deliver it anywhere in particular? Like Militao, keep it in. Well, that was oh, I can't keep that in, I'm not a miracle worker. Well, to be fair to Bro, we need you to more accurately head us there, Militao, like you've just done that nine head. miles over. We need you to not have it skim off your head. We need you to be booming that in the back of the net. We need an equaliser before I have time, otherwise I feel like the game is lost, to be honest. But I feel like the game's already lost, I just... I don't know... I don't know. I don't have really any explanation as to what I'm thinking. I, I don't... I can't put what I'm thinking into words. Nothing seems to be going through. I know it's not going to be easy every time, but like... How are they doing it so quickly and easily? Bro, what? Bro, what? Are my defenders invisible? Great save by Lafont once again, but are my defenders invisible? And Yuri just gets bullied off it. Maybe I should have sold him. Sancho. No, I want to do the pass. That wasn't how I wanted to do it. I don't want to back heal there. I need some fucking, attack. like, it'll help with this team sometimes, to be honest. I'm just like, wins it back. Battle. Maybe he needs to go on a run. Maybe he's going to get bullied off like every other fucking player I have. Why do about any of my players like, I have zero strength? Yuri hasn't got that. Am I doing, like, what's gone wrong in the first, like, like, recently? Like, the first few games we were storming this league. And I was just struggling, I don't know why. Havertz. Ah, oh, to go the whole way Havertz. Greenwood wasn't open, Haaland wasn't open. I mean, Greenwood was open, but he was offside. I had to just go the whole way. Pacheco gets the save. Oh, I really hope this isn't falling apart. We can't be dropping so many points that we fall out of the Premier League title race. Yuri. And firing it into the area. Oh, a punch happy goal. Sure receives on his area. Militao. Vinicius. I'm getting no I'm getting no movement from like not movement from my players, but I'm getting no space to make anything, but I've just what how's that happened then? I was in the middle of complaining and we've scored. 
Vinicius made the move and the space for himself. Haaland wins the header and the Norwegian well, Nightmare equalises for us. I was there what an equaliser, but I honestly didn't happen. think it would be that That's easy. I didn't think Leon's Haaland was going to get in front of the defender like that, but I'm happy he did. And Pacheco couldn't reach it. I'm not complaining, I'm just like surprised really. That kind of came out of nowhere. Vinicius with the assist, Haaland with the finish. Equaliser scored here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and hopefully this is a turnaround. Well, the happy times are back. The coach is more than delighted by his team's response. Only second for Haaland in this season, but he's not played every single game, so it makes sense. I think he got 20 and 28 last season. Well, the Joint top scorer for our team. And he didn't even play like, all the games. So it's fair play to him. Usually when he does start, he scores. And today's been no exception. It's with Gaia now. It's with Roman Zobnin. Now Casemiro. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. And options in the centre. On Bissaka, tackles, and we can get it away. Sancho. Sancho. I shouldn't really be trying to go for the fast counter-attack every time, but... I don't really know how else to play. <laughs> Greenwood. That fucking pass just turned straight into the defender. I'm doing a one-touch pass, and of course it doesn't do a one-touch pass. What on earth? Uh, what on earth? Right, let's not all go, let's not all go out. Holy shit. I wonder why I've got no centre-backs. Both Militao and Duke Meccano are going out there. Greenwood could get through here. Oh no, sorry, Longley's faster. Yeah, that makes absolutely not a single jot of sense. Granted, Longley has the strength of Greenwood every single day of the week, but like, how is he caught up with them is my question there. And he could just body him off it. <laughs> Greenwood's not going to have a game today, I don't think. This is where they go 2-1 up just on the half-time like, whistle. Especially with like that. Let's get it away and get it to half-time. Holy Christ. Not been on our game. But we're not losing, so I suppose I, t suppose I should take that but I want to win. I don't putting Spurs through early on in this game, but Haaland equalising for us. One all here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Right, what is going the fuck wrong here? Burnley losing 2-1 to Arsenal. Chelsea drawing one all with Aston Villa. Everton drawing one all with Bournemouth. Manchester City drawing one all with Southampton. And Leicester City beating Stoke 2-0 with Watford and Crystal Palace playing later. Has my like custom tactics actually gone off? They haven't. They haven't gone off, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. I've got the, like, the depth and stuff. So. Uh, let's, maybe I shouldn't go drop back. Okay, yeah, no. Um, we'll go with balance. Dropback seems to be problematic for us. But anyway, six shots with five on target for Spurs, four shots with three on target for us, 59% possession for Spurs, 41% possession for us. Maybe they deserve to be a goal up, but nothing more than that. I feel like the halftime music the is louder than the menu the music when you're in like the hub. I don't know if that's just me. How does he know? Like if I keep running there, he's going to tackle me. If I turn back, he's going to tackle me. And what am I meant to do? This isn't like guess who or guess what. Like guess what he's going to do next. On Basaka out to Sancho again. Okay, that was stupid of me. Yeah, that was fully. I fully shouldn't have done that. Like he read that I was going to turn back. Why did I do it anyway? Could be a chance to break here. Dead ass, am I stupid? Podence. I mean, I am. On the sack of tackles. Pedence, it's going to be a throw into Spurs. We might have to, it might have to be one of those where we just have to, like, get a 2 1 and just, like, Casemiro. grind out a win here rather than, like, Danny go for a straight on, full on win like we did against them last season when we won 3 0. We'll have to just, like, Casemiro. take the heat and then get out the kitchen. Or scoring. Sancho Genuinely wins it back. Might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to Given away. Mm. Good looking sequence. Sancho at what? He didn't get a single fucking bit of the ball, you freak. 
Leipzig going to help me. I get annoyed with that. Danny Olmo with it. Leon very active. Alan off to Greenwood. You're going to read Greenwood, no? But oh, it's not the power on it that I needed. And Gaia is going to. They're all on me like glue. Fucking Christ. Did you see how they all just converged on me there? What am I meant to do in that? In that scenario, I'm not a magician. No tell. I just to get it away with no problem. Akimi off now to Yuri. Here's Telemans. They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a I was meant to play Dreamers through, not two. But, um. And hence a free kick. Free kick anyway. Bring on my tent. Danny Olmo coming off around the Santaliska. Not too bad. I don't know what I'm meant to do with this free kick, though, to be honest. I'll probably just pass it off and then try and take a shot, but it'll probably get blocked when I take the shot, so. I'm not going to cross it because I'll just get headed straight away and they'll counter. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. There's a slide roll pass. Bro, I tried a little something, something. I didn't know if Vinicius was offside though as well, to be honest. I was slightly concerned if I waited too long. But Vinicius tried to play it to Havertz, but we couldn't get the finish in. Throw though, now to Bradford City. We've still got the attacking pressure on here. Vinicius off to Sancho. Martensen, he's still got everyone back, and Martensen's taking the heaviest touch known to man. Could not tell you why. Okay, get away from Hakimi. The dance. Be a fucking pain in the ass all game. On Basaka. Stops it from going any further. Havertz. That was actually meant for Greenwood. forward. <laughs> Have I been out of strength there? I'm pretty sure I have more... Like, Haaland is one of the most... Uh, probably the strongest, actually, in the team. And granted, centre-backs are strong, but I don't know if I... It would have been losing that battle there. And Basaka. After my tension. I'm just a fucking idiot, really, aren't I? Maybe I should be looking at what they do as well as what I do, because I'm just running into people. Although they are very defensive, I can't really I don't really know what I'm meant to do about that. Look at this. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. I can't get it through because they're so it's fucking def I'm gonna be complaining about that for the rest of the game. I just want to make that clear now. If anyone wants to click off because they're complaining about I'm complaining about them being defensive, it's like Carlos feel free. Soledad. But like I feel like Crossing this shouldn't be that defensive at one all. If that goes in from Tolisca after the ball was pretty much past him, I think I'm mad. I think I'm actually mad. And I've just realised now, looking at Kirchhoff, because he's gone up from 84 to 85, I forgot to do a squad report at the start of the episode. So I'll be doing it at the end of the episode again, because my memory is a sieve. Well, I've got a sieve in my head. Anyway, Havertz going to come off for Kirchhoff. I don't know if he'll bring a bit something else, some bit something different to the midfield. Freshening it up, freshening it up a little bit. I can speak English, God. These episodes would probably be a lot more fun to listen to. It's with Carlos Soler. It's with Anderson Tarisca. Martensen, don't get that somehow. No. Soler. It's opening up for them. Isn't that offside? Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> well, as the attacking side, you might dispute it, but offside. I don't think it was a like, million miles off, yeah, but it wasn't. Oh, actually, I don't even know. I think it's the arm of Soler that's just taking him off there, to be honest. Hakimi. Hakimi, I've got no option because they're just marking Intense the fuck out. Pressure. Bro, no, I'm not, not, I'm not losing the, I am losing the ball. Again, I am losing the ball there. Why am I losing the ball there? Then we're literally 50-50ing. And what was that? Hold on a second. Holy shit. The These guys are... I don't know what they're playing on, but they're playing on super, like super mega pressure or something. Why doesn't fucking Sancho run nine miles away from it after he's tackled? But win it back, you fucking mong. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Alan could send Greenwood through, but he's going to get close down by Longley because Longley's so much stronger. Or is he? He's not. They've left. Who is that? Kurtzu. I honestly thought Longley would close me down, so I didn't really think of much to do with Greenwood. And then I saw Kirchhoff running in back post. 
and it wasn't good. It wasn't really good marking there from Spurs in terms of Kutu. And uh, I said when I brought him on, is he going to make a difference? He's put us in the lead here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. First goal for Kirchhu in this season, I think overall, not just in the Premier League, but it might have got us a very, very, very pivotal three points in the season. It might turn out to be anyway. We've still got 11 minutes, and they are going to push us for equaliser for those entire 11 minutes. And again, they could just play to Greenwood. I've got no options here, really, to like, do anything with Sancho. Though why he's playing centre mid, but okay. Okay. Uh, what? Why is it gone? Back? In the second half, right. trailing, albeit by a small margin. Sancho. Or should they be viewing this task late? Well, Look, they just put their like put their bodies in front of me and then take it. Like, me in all departments. Why I do that? I think it's a foul usually when I try to do that against them. Man, Tom Saka. Keep an eye on it. Like I'm not allowing him too much space. Not to try to do. Or Tenson, what a tackle! And yet it wasn't going to work as soon as I looked like held by because there's about fucking four people just breeding around Greenwood there. Off my mind. I forgot to do substitutions completely, but it's three minutes left, so we might as well not bother now. They're going to make a substitution though right at the end of the game. I don't know what's going to happen with this. Casemiro coming off for Rafael Santos Bore. Or, yeah, no, it will be Bore. We've got two minutes left plus whatever stoppage time the referee. Adds so on. I feel like player changing is still a bit like not like smooth. Okay. Makes sense. Like it's just not. It registers like two seconds later or something. On Basaka gives away a corner. But we have not got long left to try and keep these three points over Spurs that we probably don't deserve, but we've got them. So I'm not going to like complain. So there, we've got three minutes of added time here. At the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Oh, what a block. I don't know who blocked that there. I think it was Wan Bissaka again. I was trying to clear it immediately. For some reason, it didn't do it. And uh, number 38, I'm not sure number 38 was, but literally, oh, it's Bore who just came on. And Wan Bissaka just saving us there with his body. Vinicius heads it away. I don't think we're going to follow up on it. Zobin's going to get there first. Easily. Solo may provide something here for his team. You don't watch out. And Lafont grabs and we can kick it away for a victory at Spurs. It is truly final. The match is Maybe over. not deserved, not the smoothest performance you'll ever see, but I mean, we got it, didn't we? Two one win here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Spurs may feel like they've not really got the result that they deserved here. I think it probably should have ended in a draw from being honest, but I'm not gonna complain for three points against one of the top teams that we're gonna to have to contend for the title against this season. But then scoring early, but in the end, Haaland and Kirchhu giving us the three points here. And yeah, we probably didn't deserve that looking at the stats here. 11 shots with seven on target for Spurs, five shots to four on target for ourselves. 58% uh, possession for Spurs and 42% possession for Bradford. But I'm just thinking this is like karma of what happened with Stoke, to be honest. Like we dominated them so much and we should have won there. And they dominated, uh, Spurs dominated us here and they should have won, but they didn't. So it's kind of like... It's righted the wrong from Stoke, but I'm still wishing we'd lost our first game against a higher level team, of course. 8.2s for Vinicius and Greenwood, uh, the highest ranks for our team. We don't even have the man of the match. Probably someone on their team with an 8.3 or something. Uh, Militao and Haaland with 8.1s as well. Kirchhu coming on, scoring the winner, gets a 7.9 as well. Yep, 8.3, I fucking called it. Carlos Soler getting the uh, man of the match. Uh, eight as well for Gaia and Longley was just keeping Greenwood quiet the whole game which is probably what he's deployed to do which is kind of annoying because Greenwood now hasn't scored in two games I know it's not like a big problem when a trickle becomes a flood we may have to rethink my strategy here Arsenal beating Burnley Chelsea beating Villa Everton beating 
Bournemouth City beating Southampton and Leicester beating Stoke. Watford and Crystal Pal uh, Palace yet to play, so... I was really hoping some of those results would go the other way, like Southampton would beat uh, City. Just a moment of your time. And Chelsea as well would beat Aston Villa, but I think Chelsea are top now, because Liverpool haven't played their game yet. Uh, you managed to win a close match with a decisive goal in the second half. What do you think made the difference in today's game? Um, I, I just got to say tight folks are our next batch. We shouldn't have done either of those. The other two options aren't true. We're at full value for the win today. I'm not really interested in dissecting today's performance. We're at our sights set on our next match. You managed to turn the tide and find the decisive goal. Given there wasn't much to split two sides leading up, did you have any doubts you'd come away with the win? Uh, yeah, I had doubts. Um, I trusted we'd give it our all. Regardless of the outcome, I always trust my players to give it their all and fight till the end. Did exactly that out there today. Uh, just said, I don't know what happened with Stoke. We'll not talk about that anymore. Solar was one of the best players in the opposition today. How difficult is it to stop Spurs from creating chances? Very difficult. But we, uh, it wasn't easy, to be honest. You've got to give credit to Spurs for the way they set the stall out. It wasn't easy to outpace them, and Solaire's performance made it even harder. Thank you for your time. But we really got appreciate the job that. Done. That's all the questions we have for you. Alan and Kutchu scoring our goals, and Kutchu getting the winner. And that's why I've still got him around, because sometimes he is the one that changes the game a little bit. But we've got our first Europa League game coming up in the season. And it's our third season in the Europa League now. And uh, last season it was quarterfinals. This season it's semi-final. Oh, two seasons ago it was quarterfinal. Last season it was semi-final. My English is all over the place. Will it be a final this year? I'm hoping so. Probably not, but I'm hoping so. That fucking pesky away goals rule always just stiffs me. Like, it's th both times I've gone out was thanks to that fucking away goals rule. <laughs> uh, we're trying to get some speed out of this guy. If he's a left winger, we're going to need some speed on that left wing. He probably won't even play for much, like, during his career mode. We'll also put Hill on some drills. I know he says he's not a potential player anymore, or a promising player, but we've not got a lot of people to train, to be honest, after we sent the whole batch, or most of the batch, of uh, youth players out on loan. So, the rain is still horizontal outside. But, uh, anyway, we'll move on now to the next game. The Drake's got, our Drake's got down to 79, which is still safe, to be honest. It's better than where we were at the end of last season. I think we're, like, 50-something. Uh, Hloshik is asking to play, and he probably will get to play. I've been in pretty good form lately, they're feeling good, so you're not going to bench me for the game against Mould. Um, I mean, there is bigger games ahead, but I'll consider it. I haven't figured out a squad yet, but I'll, not, I'll consider your request before announcing the team sheet. And before we actually go and do a squad report, we're going to try a little Sun Sun here. You know, the problem I was uh, faced with not long ago, you'll know what I'm going to try and do. We're going to go into actual negotiations this time, because we did a delegate renewal, and we set the bar way too low, so... And it's great to see you, thank you both for coming. Thought we'd play start with V for us to discuss his role at the club. He will be important. I can't guarantee anyone crucial at the moment, because everyone's so good at this club. If they want crucial, I'll accept it, but like... I don't know if he will be playing like every single game. That's what we're hoping for. I don't know why I didn't skip that first bit. I apologise there. He wants to sign a five year contract extension. Oh yes. Oh yes. Keep keep Plushek here till the end of time to be honest. Why isn't considering adding a release clause? We wouldn't turn down a reasonable proposal. Well, it depends how much you get offered for. Uh, well, actually, um, yeah, it's fine. I almost accidentally ended the negotiation there, that would not have been good. And they can ask for money. 130k with a 1.15 million signing bonus and 620k for every five appearances. We we have that money. But that is It's not for every five, it's just for the first five, isn't it? I'm still gonna take the bonus off, but I'll bump his wage up uh, a slight amount. Signing bonus is fine. Not quite what he was hoping for, but he loves this club. Of course he does. He was made at this club. He's played so many games at this club, and he is one of the standout players for it. 
First game in the Premier League, or first Premier League season member in the Premier League, got Golden Boot. At the club since 2020. So he's been pretty much since season two, I think. Um, but anyway, let's go into now the attributes. And we'll go up to the top. And we'll go by overall change as we usually do. So let's see. Alexander Martinson going up to from 62 to 64. He's out alone, but I can't remember where. So um, we can actually check this, can't we? Um, he's out alone at CD Tondela. Erling Braut Haaland up one from an 87 to an 88. Mason Greenwood up one from an 88 to an 89. Adam Lozhek up one from an 88 to an 89. Igor Yartsev up one from a 77 to a 78. Ibrahima Kanate up one from an 87 to an 88. Ilya Bondarchuk up one from a 65 to a 66. And Thomas Axelson up one from a 50, uh, from 65 to a 66. Both of those guys out on loan at the same club, I believe, from Mil from Milisau. Um, I don't remember the pronunciation. Lance Hill up one from a 78 to a 79. Mats Mertensen up one from a 78 to a 79. Johan Carbonero up one from an 86 to an 87. Erkin Kutchu up one from an 84 to an 85. Vyacheslav Varenkov still at 70, Usman Dembele still at 90, Vinicius Junior still at 92, Carl Fredrickson still at 78, he's out on loan at Leicester, Jin Sancho still at 92, Mikhail Samarov still at 63, he's out on loan at Hull, Valery Baikov still at 69, he's out on loan at Stade de Rheim. If I don't know the club, I'll go into the attributes a bit and I'll check it. Valery Nisimov still at 80, he's out on loan at Borussia Dortmund, Kai Havertz still at 92, Tom O'Leary still at 79. He's out on loan at AC Milan up until January, uh, in which we'll get him back then. I'll probably rotate him in for some games, to be honest. Yuri Tillman still at 89. Roman Mazbov out on loan at Lyon. He's still at 78. Aaron Wampasaka still at 90. Ada Militao still at 88. Deo Upamecano still at 87. Liberato Kakachi still at 85. Akra Fakimi still at an 87, Alban Lafon still at an 88, Dean Henderson still at an 83, and our injured number one, Gianluigi Donnarumma, still at a 92. So that is where we're going to end this episode of the Bradford City career mode. We got the win over Spurs just about, and um, we're going to kick off with our first Europa League game next game, and I've just realised the schedule is not in our favour. <laughs> Because we've got the Europa League Thursday, Brighton Sunday, Carabao Cup Wednesday, and then Fulham Saturday. So in the next 10, 9, 10 days, we've got four games. October's probably not going to get any easier either due to, of course, cups and everything. But it's just how it has to be when you're trying to high fly with a club like Bradford City. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this Korean Mode episode. Before I do go, though, I will... Show you the Premier League game, or Premier League table, I should say, not Premier League game. We just had the Premier League game. Um, Premier League. This is how it's looking. We're still in the top four. Liverpool winning their game, Chelsea winning their game, Manchester United winning, and Manchester City also winning. We won our game against Spurs as well, though, so we're still sitting in fourth, but it's quite a close run thing at the top. Um, where is Southampton? Oh, boy. They might have sold Moise Keane, to be honest, or Kayan. That's the correct pronunciation. But, like, he, they, he, they've fallen. They were in the Champions League. Or they are in the Champions League, I should say. But, like, they when they finished third last season. They'll probably come back, but, like, they're not having a good start. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, like I said. And I'll see you next time when we travel to Norway to take on FK Mould in our first game of the Europa League for the third season that we're in the Europa League. Bye for now.